All right, it's New Year's Eve and I've come down to this little creek. Let's see if we can catch any more musky before 2023 is officially over. Let's see what we can do. All right, I know a lot of people who fish here are all small baits, small baits, small baits, but I'm gonna start big just to be different. I haven't been to this place in a very long time, probably like a year, so don't know what, don't know what's going on, don't know what to expect, but we're gonna toss a big bait out just to initially probe. Sometimes that's the best way to at least get some interest. Nice side to side, big glide bait in the cold. Weather officially feels like winter. Didn't for a while there. But we've got highs in the 30s, overnight lows in the 20s. So we're totally in winter mode. <coughs> Now we're going to try and downsize into this funny little swim bait I got for Christmas. A little bluegill, slow sinking, jointed fella right here. Ooh. Mm, that has a pretty nice action. All right, now we're going to downsize even further to a little jerk bait. All right, changing spots. I did manage to catch one muskie this month in two to three trips. I'll show you that now. Oh my gosh, that was a that was a muskie, huh? It was first cast action. Oh my goodness gracious! Did we really? That is amazing. Oh, got him, got him. Oh my gosh. There he is. <laughs> Not very big, but uh, there you go, buddy. Jet away. Wasn't gonna make a video from that tiny little fish, but hopefully today it's gonna be different. So here we go to spot number two. All right, once again, we're gonna start big and then work small. been here about four hours and absolutely zero action so we're back at spot number one and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on the football game on my phone and I will catch back up to you if and when we get some action there he is big follow first action finally you have some action I don't know if you picked that up but that was a uh, Quite a big fish. And we're at like 1.30. All right, putting the phone away, getting serious. Gotta get prepared for an active window. That fish was very lazy, but the fact that I got anything to happen at all, sometimes can indicate that they'll start gradually amping up. over the next you know hour or so hour two hours you may get increasingly aggressive fish that follow was on a regular shadow rep perhaps that'll be the bait we'll keep throwing other stuff though There's a muskie right there. Came in late.
Got him. Okay, he's barely hooked. He is so flabbergasted and cold. He just nipped it. Got him. Holy crap. It's not a bad fish. That's cold water. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. So there we go. There it is. Katamuski. This fish is probably, it's in the 30s, high 30s, I'd say. Beautiful. Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve musky. There he goes. Swimming away. Okay. One thing I didn't mention that makes this that much nicer is my brother John and I had a little 2023 competition for who caught more muskies and he had a one musky lead and and being New Year's Eve today if I didn't catch at least one musky today he was gonna win now it's tied and I could take the W if we get another one the fish have clearly gotten active hopefully it could be a two fish day let's go kind of surprised he stayed hooked but in that cold water I would never use hooks like this these are the stock Rapala shadow wrap hooks, extremely light wire, but that is actually not a bad thing in cold, cold water. Cause as you can see, this fish hits so light and silly that when you approach it like you normally do with stout hooks and big heavy rods and hook sets, you'll just get rip it out of their mouth because they're just lightly grabbing it like that. But these thin wire hooks are so sticky because the fish don't pull that hard this time of year anyway at least musky don't usually i mean that wasn't a huge fish or anything but usually um it actually seems to work all right oh yeah there's one right there Got him. Oh, he jetted off. I hooked the tree. Oh, and he's, he ran away when he saw the tree come out of the water. Dang it, I thought I had him because I got resistance and I picked this up and then I just saw him jet off that way. But that was another, that was a bigger, bigger one, I think. Unfortunately, we are out of time. All the action was between 1 and 3 p.m. Definitely almost would have got that second fish if I hadn't snagged that tree. The way he was hanging around, I think that he would have bit just like the just like the first fish that was caught what did so interacted with three muskies in a couple hour bite window now i gotta go really happy to catch my last muskie of the year 2023 thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one